don't even want to look at you. I can't. I don't understand. Why would you be treating me like this? Miss Badon, what's wrong? Like, uh. <laughs> Today we're gonna do a easy groom with me, right? Mm -hmm. At home during quarantine. This is my mom. She is a professional groomer. She has these two little puppies. This is Miss Bordon. She looks a little nervous, and this is Miss <laughs> Miss Ruby. Yeah. So this is a short hair dog, and then a long hair dog. So a shedding dog. There's different uh, uh, brushes that you could use for a shedding dog, and then for like the curly hair dog, we're gonna show all that. So a, a shedding dog should be pre-brushed. Um, a, a Furminator type of a type of comb brush uh, is used, and this removes excess hair, which is great because you don't want it going down your drain. You see all the extra. So you want to pre-brush your dog before. To try to get as much as you can out mm -hmm. not too much you don't want to overdo it because you don't want to uh, hurt the skin she's a poodle she's a miniature poodle i believe she's a she's mixed she's got a lot of uh a shedding factors too, but it's not so bad. So for her, we need to use a brush, a metal brush, and then also a comb. This is great because it has smaller um, teeth and then the larger teeth. So if you can probably see it better with her. And then what you want to do is you want to brush the legs. It's important that you brush upwards because you're able to remove any matting. And what's important is to brush, 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 brush. The comb is used to find any matting. So you see how hard it is to pull that. You don't want to pull. You want to brush until it's it comes out so after you're done brushing, you should be able to, with Ease. little to no effort, um, comb her through, okay? Because if not, see, and I didn't get it all, there's some little fuzz that comes up. I mean, she's, she was developing a little bit of a mess. So at least twice a week is perfect when you're binge watching your TV and you're on the floor. You can just grab your pet and brush them out. She's complaining you hear her. <laughs> yeah, and then the top of her head. So when you're going to set the water, you want to set it just the same way you set it for a baby. You want to make sure that you feel it warm or not too hot, not too hot, just enough where it feels natural to you. Uh, the older the dog is, if they have arthritis, they prefer the warm water. Um, it's better for their joints, just like humans. So you want to wet the coat as much as possible. The face, you want to hold the face up. Make sure that no water goes into the nose because they do not release the water from their nostrils the way we do. So I, us I usually buy the concentrated soap. This is a facial soap. Fa facial facial, facial soap. <laughs> that 
I like to use on both of the girls is a Furminator. Um, one, because it's great for the shedding, but then it's an anti, it's a type of soap that, uh, that's great for people who have allergies and it does, it, it, it does great all the way around. So this is the, the, the soap I prefer to use for my girls. You want to always move the soap down, not, not, not doing so much of a circular motion, just like you would do your own hair if you had long hair. for stains you may not take everything off but it does a pretty good job water fall in their eyes, it's actually good. It clears their eyes. Oh, and by the way, this you can get. I bought this online at Pet Edge. It's so so worth it. And having one of these attachments to hold your dog, no matter how big, I've used this on a pit bull to wash in a bathtub, so it holds very well. The whole idea is not to have your dog run out of the tub while you're sitting here trying to bathe him or her and they wet your entire house. We will link everything down below if you guys want to like check it out, see prices and things. The little suction thing to hold your dog in thing, maybe even the some of the shampoos. Now that they're all rinsed off, they're so happy. But they're not done. No. Mm, not My done. final step, especially for a dog that's shedding, is a conditioning treatment. You always want to do a conditioning treatment. If you're like some people that I know that like to wash your dogs every week because they sleep on their bed or because, um, you know, you, get, you have one of those dogs that like to get dirty, you, it's a must to have a conditioning treatment on them. They don't produce oils the way we do, so it's important that you do consider their skin. Five to ten minutes. Ten minutes for Bagong to shower, five minutes for Ruby, but in between that time, I like to brush their teeth. So there's, there's uh, beef flavored or peanut butter flavored toothpaste that you can get. And then um, for the dogs that don't let you brush your teeth, 
This is a gel that you can basically insert into their mouth. If you do it on a daily basis, you'll see a difference. Um, the toothbrush, obviously, the brushing of the teeth is, is great to do. Um, again, daily ideal, but realistically, maybe once a week would be great. So if you, if you get them used to brushing their teeth, they, they really do like it. Yummy, yummy. They don't mind it at all. So what do you do? So you put the toothpaste on the toothbrush. I like to wet the toothbrush because it kind of softens it up a little bit. And then you just brush it as much as you can. I mean, sometimes they won't let you. But Ruby actually loves the taste of the toothbrush, again, because it's flavored. Okay. So Baton, um, she doesn't necessarily like it but she does pretty good with it in allowing me to brush her teeth I try to get as far back as I can especially because she's an older dog by lifting her her cheeks she doesn't have the best looking teeth but then mm -hmm. so after you're done brushing their teeth one thing that I like to do is take a small cup let us see a medicine cup that you use, an extra one that you have. I like to dip it in half broth and half water for at least 10 minutes and that completely disinfects their toothbrush. Oops, you heard that? Give you a fart. Ruby, Ruby. Oh my god. She's so funny. She throws a fart and then she realizes that it was her or she doesn't realize that it was her. She looks she looks on the back side like trying to figure out what the heck happened. Hey, who did that? Uh-huh. <laughs> So obviously at home, uh, we don't have this uh, crazy strong blow dryer that my mom's using, but you can always use your own blow dryer for your hair. It works the same, it just takes a lot longer, a lot longer. just to sit around just to to make sure she was completely dry you brush your dog again and you do the same process as in the beginning you want to make sure that there are no mats so once everything is brushed out you have the face comb her out make sure there are again no mats um on a shih tzu if you have a shih tzu at home or a dog with similar hair like a maltese um i always recommend bring the hair forward completely forward okay okay and i'm just going to poof this a little bit up here but bring the hair forward and then you want to grab your shears if, if you don't have these shears any the the regular shears that you use for yourself if you do any home grooming uh will do because all you're going to do is take a little bit. You want to hold, always hold the, the, the pet. They love the attention that you give them. So if you don't have one of these to hold them, maybe someone can hold them from the back. Um, and just lightly trim around the eyes. 
Very simple, just like we did before the bath. So you wanna always, as soon as they're completely dry, um, brush again with the Furminator. More hair comes off. Um, it's a key important to use conditioner on a shedding dog because it helps release a lot of their loose hairs. But Thons is always such a sucker. She's always so nice and then she has this evil growl. Watch, ready? <gasps> What's that with this? So I hope you guys learned a little bit of how to maintain your dog during this quarantine, at least until grooming is back up. I know um, my mom definitely, do you have anything to say, mom? No. Um, try to keep up with brushing them. Um, I know sometimes it's hard. It's hard for me and I'm a groomer. So um, they, with, the, with all the attention you give them, uh, it makes a huge difference to them and to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. So when you're giving your dog a little bit of love in, just make sure to brush it out so then it's all ready for when the groomers are back in business. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> also, um, click that notification bell if you guys are interested in watching or getting notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. The, um, the curly hair dog. Okay, so your dog has to be pre-brushed. Come on, you can say it again. Okay, you're recording me? Yes, go. Okay. Do you let him sit? How long do you let him sit in the bathtub with them? Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's why I let them sit for a good, um, mm -hmm. ready? Yeah. Perfect. Such a good girl. So if you notice anything different, I too had something done to my hair. Oh my god. <laughs> While we were waiting for them to dry.